What's up guys? It's your boy Classy Crustaceo here doing another Final Fantasy VII React uh, reaction video. Um, I just saw that this dropped. Um, I think it dropped this morning, super early this morning. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited. It's supposed to be the opening cinematic. Now I did see the leaked gameplay. I'm not going to lie about that. I could not help myself of um, the demo that was leaked. Um, so and they're saying that the intro is a bit different. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they what they did uh, to see how they mixed it up and to see if it's going to be anything because of the leaks or what they're originally planning. I still kind of think that the demo was never going to be released um, until the game was released just by some indicators inside the demo um, like DLC packages not matching up with what uh, they're telling us for pre-orders. Um, and what you can currently get when you pre-order the game, as well as also typically um, if it's a game that uh, they're, do they're releasing a demo beforehand, um, it says pre-order um, instead of purchase or buy now. I feel like um, all of us who are, who are going to get the game, um, we don't need a demo. We're going to buy it regardless. So they're wanting to wait until um, the game is actually out to release a demo for people who are on the fence so once they play it they can be excited and super hyped and immediately turn around and buy the game uh, as soon as they're done with the demo and not have to um, wait any time and let that hype die down so um, I'm, I'm pretty certain that we're, we're gonna get a demo but it's not gonna be till after the game releases um, but with that being said like I said I did see the opening and it's um, the leak demo was um, you know, the first chapter of the game, um, or at least what is perceived to be the first chapter of the game. Um, so uh, that included the intro, which is an intro if you've played the original Final Fantasy you're very familiar with. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this is different. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in. Oh, this is already different. Is this outside of Midgar? No, this can't be outside of Midgar. Eagle's giving me some Spirits Within vibes. Oh my god, it is outside of Midgar! Oh man. <gasps> the Sephiroth theme. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is like a combination of the uh, 2015 trailer. It's like a different version. Oh my god, Midgar looks so good. Holy crap. I can't. <gasps> oh, this is this is some of the stuff that they showed if you got to play the demo at uh, PAX West. This is some of the stuff that you got to see uh, that was exclusive at PAX West. Oh my god, yeah, this was the stuff when they were like, the Shinra was telling you about the power plant. Um, and how great it was, and then Jesse ends up- Oh, this is so cool! Oh my god! Yeah, and then Jesse jumps in and is like, don't believe Shinra and stuff. Oh, obviously it's cut differently, but this is the footage. This is the exact same footage. <gasps> Oh, yes! <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh. Oh. Look at that seamless transition. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Okay, this is this is familiar stuff now. This is stuff that was in the demo. God, she looks so pretty. I love how they gave her kind of a western look and Tifa an eastern look, so that way they appease both fans. Plus, I think people, the western audience loves Aerith a lot more. Oh, now that thing makes sense. Now it makes sense. Now it totally makes sense. Holy crap. Hype level a thousand. 
already. Hype level 1,000. It's back up there. I can't, I can't deny it. Bitch, I've killed for less. You just can sit there and take that earth. Smack, smack him. Oh. It's getting chills. It's getting chills. Oh, man. Guys, you have no idea what you're in store for. You have no idea what you're in store for. Man, the version that I played was amazing. Uh, and that wasn't even a, like, a, a recent build at even at that time. Oh. So it's still sticking with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Not THE Final Fantasy VII Remake, just Final Fantasy VII Remake. Not a part one. I asked Neil about that uh, at PAX West. I asked him specifically, I was like, how come we are not getting any other subtitle? And he was just like, we're not uh, ready to reveal anything past Midgar. So I don't know what they're gonna name the other ones. Um, if it's anything like the, the uh, current theory that uh, Soldier First Class did, then it's, um, God, it looks so good. I'm just gonna shut up. <coughs> so much better. So much better than, than the 2015 trailer. Ugh. Anyway, it might be a compilation, a new compilation. I like the idea that his glasses are like a UI system for himself. Get down here, Merc. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. That was That was amazing. That was amazing. So everything up to Aerith's start, I had um, seen before from the leaked demo, but everything before that, brand new stuff, um, and I love it. I love it. It's, it's all the stuff that um, we got to see, uh, if you got to play a demo of it, like at E3 or at one of the packs, uh, they brought you into a room and you sat down, um, and it was like this... Uh, Shinra propaganda video. It was really cool, exactly like what Max uh, uh, Maximilian dude said. And they're talking about how great Shinra is and how it's you know provides service and and uh, comfortability for for people. And then Jesse steps in and kind of gives you the the basics of the um, of the gameplay. But all of that visual stuff, all of um, all of like this stuff, this was what they were playing as the Shinra propaganda video was going. So it's really cool to see this. I'm really excited to see Midgar during the day. Um, that's just something that I am really excited because in the original it was it always felt like it was nighttime and you never really got to go on the upper plate um, only to blow up the reactors um, and it still felt like it was nighttime. So. Um, I'm just ex I'm just super excited. Here's the car that you're gonna be well not the specifically, but the model of the car that you're gonna be taking. Yeah, I loved this. Oh man. That was probably the most exciting thing for me. Um I think there was even leaked images of this out on uh that got out there. Man. It's cool to kind of see this again. I totally forgot about seeing this at PAX West, this scene specifically. It's really cool to see it um, from a different angle. It's that 2015 shot of her sliding down, um, and the kids were playing with swords. Now they're playing um, with the soccer ball, um, or just a ball of any kind. Um, and then, yeah, that's just the updated version of her looking at the reactor. This isn't exploding. This is not exploding. This is just it releasing energy kind of like as an exhaust um, into the sky. 
and I love that transition. That's such a good transition. Holy crap. And the little notes of Sephiroth beforehand make sense now. Everybody was talking about, um, you know, here when she looks back, the notes of Sephiroth. It totally makes sense now. They blended it together perfectly. So this was originally planned, I think. Um, and they just wanted to keep it a secret, even in the demo version. Right here. Yeah. So now it blends together so well and it makes sense. I liked it without hearing it in context. Now I really like it. Um, because that was all footage that they had used originally. And whether it got repurposed or not, I think that this was the original plan that they had for the opening. Um, I just love this. I love this whole thing here. I like that we get to see, obviously I think this is pre-rendered, but I like how we get to see outside of Midgar. We kind of get an idea of what the landscape will look like and it is actually completely barren. Um, it'd be really nice to see, it looks like this is the mountainside here, so Calm would be off back in this direction. And since we know that there's a train or a road that goes to Calm, I wonder if you could find that. Um, it'd be really cool, but oh my god, I love it. And all of the notes, you can see like all of the things that they had from the 2015 trailer, uh, that they kept those ideas, and they kept those concepts, and they just tweaked them, and they changed them, and they made them um, a little bit better to match what it was they really wanted to um, for what CyberConnect set up. I don't doubt that CyberConnect did a good job. I just think that they realized that they weren't going to do the job that we were expecting as fans. Um, and uh, and that's why they took, took it back. And they didn't completely scrap it. They didn't start from scratch. Um, a lot of the same assets are still there or improved upon, especially things like animations and um, uh, and original kind of uh, layouts and designs um, that were uh, that were kept um, and uh, probably reused. Um, they would have been incredibly, incredibly stupid to start from scratch. Um, so I think what they did is that they just realized that they needed to be hands-on because the expectation was so high. And I think there was a lot of criticism from people being like, you're handing a remake to another company? Like, we want this. We don't want them to mess it up. We want you to work on it. And so they decided that they were going to do that. Um, and plus, they probably had a lot of going back and forth between them because of that level. And they realized they weren't going to ever be on schedule. Um, so they just brought it in-house. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and as always, keep classy. Thank you.